Hello viewers, this is Wahida Kazi. Hope you all are doing wonderful. The topic uh, that I'm going to discuss today is uh, COVID response by Ontario government and reopening strategy. I recently read a document from Ontario government's website. It's called a framework for reopening our province. For today's discussion, I would like to give all credits to the author of this uh, document. Since January, in response to COVID-19, government has taken several steps to protect health and safety of Ontarians. These are identifying COVID-19 as a reportable disease, enhance public health capacity to increase the case and contact uh, management, enhance testing capacity, uh, prohibition of public gathering of 250 uh, people, and that number actually decreased to prohibition of gathering of uh, five uh, individuals in public place, closure of non-essential businesses, closure of recreational facilities, school, and uh, deployment of staff from non-essential work to the essential work where people need support. For example, a special care has been given to individuals living in aggregated settings such as long-term care home or shelters. Based on concurrent situation, government has declared a state of emergency in Ontario in March 17. In March 25th, government has released 17 uh, billion Canadian dollars budgetary budget for action plan for COVID-19. Uh, around April 14th, the emergency state situation were extended another 28 days. International travelers need to be in quarantine for 14 days and other public health measures um, put in place, such as social distancing and uh, mass communication about uh, public health measures is ongoing. On April 24th, the government released the framework for reopening of the province. In this framework, three phases has been discussed. The phase one is the protect and support. I already discussed the phase one so far, where government has taken um, all the public health measures and allocating budget to support the people, businesses, and healthcare facilities to uh, their uh, to protect their health and safety as well as increase the capacity um, during this uh, pandemic uh, situation. This second uh, phase is called a uh, restart phase and this phase again subdivided into three stages stage one stage two and stage three. In stage one only selected workplace or business are allowed to open uh, based on whether they can follow the public health direction or not and only a few public gathering or very small gathering is allowed and usually each stays will be uh, for a couple of weeks two to four weeks stay um, medical officer of health will allow uh, to open more workplace and more outdoor spaces and allow a uh, in, uh, in an incremental fashion on um, stage three more um, more relaxed so more business will be open and a more uh, and large gathering will be allowed 
but all during this all the stages uh, basic public health practices like social distancing public uh, place for example wearing masks in the public place hand hygiene and special attention to the vulnerable uh, people these need to be um, maintained to prevent any resurge of uh, COVID-19 um, infection. And also, uh, these phases are allowed when public health already develops some capacity enough to uh, tackle any resurgence or re-outbreak or situation. And uh, what are the capacity for healthcare system, whether they're prepared to uh, take over any resurgence of um, the pandemic or resurgence of cases. And then the last stage or last phase is the recovery phase. That means we already overcome um, the big challenges of pandemic. And now we are in the phase of recovery where government need to help the uh, rebuild the community and rebuild some of the losses. For example, um, build the job market, economic growth, um, etc. Uh, thank you, viewers, and this is the end of my discussion today, and hopefully I will be back with the new topics, and you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.